Chronic kidney disease is an irreversible damage to the kidneys that progresses to the end stage kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease can occur as a secondary condition of diseases such as diabetes. The high levels of blood sugar in a diabetic patient causes the kidneys to filter too much blood, which weakens the blood vessels over time. The vessels then begin to leak protein into the urine. Certain medications can be harmful to the kidneys, and if used for long lengths of time, they can cause chronic kidney disease. Patients with chronic kidney disease usually have primary hypertension, although hypertension can occur due to chronic kidney disease. Hypertension can damage the blood vessels, which weakens their ability to remove waste from the body. Secondary hypertension is caused when fluids collect in the body of chronic kidney disease patients, causing a rise in blood pressure. There are not always signs and symptoms during the early stages of chronic kidney disease. A common symptom of chronic kidney disease is fluid retention, which can be seen in the patient's extremity. Fluid buildup in the lungs can be a sign of chronic kidney disease. The heart can be affected by chronic kidney disease. The pericardium becomes inflamed, causing a condition called pericarditis. Patients with CKD have a lower immunity than healthy patients and are at higher risk for infection. Azotemia is a condition common in patients with CKD. Azotemia is abnormally high levels of nitrogen waste in the blood. Nitrogen waste products include creatinine and urea, which are not filtered out of blood at normal levels in patients with CKD. Patients with CKD are known to have increased urination at night, also known as nocturia. Metabolic acidosis is another symptom. It occurs when the kidneys are not removing enough acid from the body. This causes a low pH in the blood. This condition is measured by a test called the arterial blood gas. Proteinuria, which is excess serum protein in the urine, can cause the urine to appear foamy or bubbly. Patients with low levels of CKD usually have microalbuminuria. Albumin is a protein. Patients with CKD begin to leak protein into the urine, which is called microalbuminuria. This diagnosis represents small amounts of protein in the urine. Microalbuminuria is excessive protein in the urine. A 24-hour urine analysis is often ordered when either condition is suspected. A patient with CKD can develop renal osteodystrophy, which is the overload of phosphorus and parathyroid hormone. A common symptom of this disorder is bone or joint pain. This can be caused by source from calcium phosphorus deposits. Glomerulonephritis is a broad term for several kidney diseases, which usually affects both kidneys. Signs and symptoms can include hematuria, blood in the urine, and proteinuria, protein in the urine. Obstructive uropathy is the abnormal flow of urine, which can cause urinary retention. Patients with CKD can develop secondary hyperparathyroidism, which is an increase in the production of the parathyroid hormone. The parathyroid hormone helps balance the calcium and phosphate levels. When the calcium level drops in patients with CKD, this causes excessive secretion of the parathyroid hormone. Patients with CKD suffer from hyperphosphatemia, hypocalcemia, and hyponatremia. Treatment for CKD patients usually involves trying to balance the patient's phosphates, calcium, and sodium levels. The National Kidney Foundation reports five stages of kidney disease. These five levels are used in ICD-10 diagnosis code set. The GFR is the flow rate of fluid through the capillaries in the kidneys, also known as glomuli. Glomuli filter waste materials out of the body and into the urinary system. Stage 1 CKD has a normal GFR but kidney abnormalities. Stage 2, a GFR between 60 to 89. Stage 3, a GFR 30 to 59. Stage 4, GFR 15 to 29, and stage 5, 15 or less. In stage renal disease is less than 15 and a patient is on dialysis. High levels of blood, urea, nitrogen, BUN, are associated with CKD. It is usually not abnormal in early kidney disease. Creatinine is a waste product in the blood. Elevated creatinine levels are usually not abnormal in low levels of CKD either. Once the GFR begins to lower, the BUN and creatinine begin to elevate in the patients with CKD. Patients with suspected CKD will have a urinalysis which screens for protein in the urine. A pyelogram is a radiological test used to look for blockage of the kidneys and the ureter. 
Avoiding cystourethrogram is a test for vesourethral reflux, also called kidney reflux. Kidney reflux is the condition of urine flowing backwards from the bladder to the kidneys and ureter. This condition puts patients at risk for CKD. Treatment of early stages of CKD in pharmaceutical therapies to normalize the patient's abnormal blood levels. Patients with end-stage renal disease undergo dialysis. Dialysis filters the blood and removes excess fluids, salts, toxin, and waste products that the kidney can no longer filter out of the body through urination. If CKD becomes so severe, the patient must undergo a kidney transplant. Common clinical indicators of CKD include anemia, azotemia, blood or protein in the urine, bone pain, dehydration, foamy, frothy, or bubbly urine, glomulonephritis, hypertension, secondary hyperparathyroidism, hyperphosphatemia, hypocalcemia, hyponatremia, hypoplastic kidney disease, metabolic acidosis, nocturia, obstructive uropathy, pericarditis, polycystic kidney disease, proteinuria, pulmonary edema, recurrent urinary tract infections, renal osteodystrophy, swelling of hands and feet, volume or fluid overload, and vomiting. Common diagnostic tests for chronic kidney disease include albumin, alkaline phosphate, BUN, creatinine, GFR, pH levels of arterial blood gas readings, proteinuria analysis, potassium, phosphorus, parathyroid hormone, pyelography, renal ultrasound, urinalysis, vitamin D, and avoiding cystourethrography. And common therapeutic treatment for chronic kidney disease includes calcium channel blockers, calcium agents, dialysis, diuretics, iron supplement, indwelling catheter, IV fluids, mannitol, nutrition consult, phosphate binders, protein and salt dietary restrictions, vitamin D, serum bicarbonate supplement. And the possible query options for chronic kidney disease include chronic kidney disease stage one, chronic kidney disease stage two, chronic kidney disease stage three, chronic kidney disease stage four, chronic kidney disease stage five, and end-stage renal disease.